My name's Laura Green and welcome to this video on a little astrology today. I am a yoga teacher, a spiritual seeker and a qualified astrologer. Now the Mercury retrograde, you can work with an, an empowered, soul-fulfilling, up-leveling way. Please, no more blaming a Mercury retrograde for travel plans gone amiss and technology not working. Let's come out of that victim mindset and find a way to be empowered, uplifted, and elevated during this important planetary shift. So Mercury retrogrades three times a year and for about three weeks each time. During a Mercury retrograde, there's the optical illusion that Mercury looks like it's moving backwards. This is due to the different speeds that which our planets are moving. Just like if you're on a fast train overtaking a slow train, it looks like the slow train is moving backwards. It's an optical illusion. Now, nothing in astrology is here to do you harm or break your printer. A Mercury retrograde, whether you actually believe in the energy or you're letting the astrology inspire your spiritual journey, a Mercury retrograde is about reviewing reflecting, revising, making sure we have learned the lessons from the past, brought forwards from the past ideas that kind of had legs but wasn't the right time. There's so much power here and the slowing down of a Mercury retrograde also reminds us the importance of traveling slowly, crossing our I's, dotting our T's, making sure we've got our ducks in a row. So here are four four ways you can work in an empowered, positive way with a Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury has an associated mudra. A mudra is a hand gesture that helps to focus your energy. Mercury is associated with the little fingers. So for the Mercury Mudra, or it's also called in Sanskrit, the Buddhi Mudra, you're gonna bring your little fingers, hold them down with your thumb, extend the other fingers, and now you could bring this into an asana, you could raise it up, or more traditionally, just have that Mudra sitting on your legs as you take a seated meditation or pranayama practice. Buddhi Mudra helps clear the communication. Mercury is the planet that rules communication. Now, my second favorite way, actually it's probably my favorite way, it's my second reason, favorite way, <laughs> for working in an empowered way with the Mercury retrograde is to chant the mantra to Mercury. Now, I don't think Mercury hears, <laughs> but what it is doing, it's, it's settling my mind. It's bringing me into an empowered energy. I'm taking radical responsibility through a chanting practice. And by calling on the Bijan Mantra, the seed sound for Mercury, and the Mercury in its more formal Sanskrit name, I am focusing my energy on the symbolism of a Mercury retrograde, getting clear in my communication, revising, reviewing, reflecting, dotting my I's and crossing my T's. So the mantra for Mercury is Om. Every mantra or many of them begins with Om, the sacred sound. Then the Bijan mantra. This is a small mantra that contains the energy of Mercury is Om Boom, Boom, spelled B-A-M, but Boom. And then we call Mercury in its formal Sanskrit name, Buddhaya, Buddhaya or Buddhi, Buddhi, Buddhaya, Namaha, I bow to. And the I on the end is inviting Mercury to come and sit with me. So it's saying like, hey Mercury, I would love to learn the lessons of your wisdom. I'm gonna chant to you. Om Boom Buddhaya Namaha. Let's chant three rounds together, but I recommend you chant 9, 11, or even 108 once a week during a Mercury retrograde, or better yet, daily. Here we go, three rounds. Om Boom Buddhaya Namaha. You can take your little Buddhi Mercury Mudra, take a breath in, 
Om Bhum Buddhaya Namaha Om Bhum Buddhaya Namaha Om Bhum Buddhaya Namaha Chanting that is really powerful during a Mercury retrograde. So we've got our Buddhi Mutra chanting to Mercury Om Bhum Buddhaya Namaha and then two other ways to be empowered in this Mercury retrograde. One, slow down. Mercury is a fast moving planet, but for three weeks, three times a year, it appears to be moving backwards to slowing down. And sometimes we need to slow down to get further faster, to stop tripping over our feet, making errors, having to redo things slow down. Take one or two things out of your calendar. If you've got somewhere to be, leave early. Give every journey 10 minutes early. That will only help to settle your nervous system. And then get a really good audio book so that if you do arrive somewhere early, you're excited to be there early because you can live into another chapter of your audio book or go for a quick walk around the block or chant. Use that 10 minutes. And then the fourth way to work in an empowered way with a Mercury retrograde. This is a great time to revisit things. So look at ideas, hopes, dreams, projects that lit you up, but for some reason maybe got stalled, it wasn't the right time for, something distracted with you. Look back on those ideas and see if they still light a spark within you. If they do, it just wasn't the right time. So use this revision to go back over ideas so they don't get lost and decide if any still light your spark and now is the time to bring them to life. So thank you so much for watching this video on an empowered way to work with a Mercury retrograde for our soul and spiritual evolution. No more blaming stuff on a Mercury retrograde. No more victim mentality. Step into an empowered, excited stance and harness this powerful time. Thank you for watching.